Hello mate, this is Gabe. Uh, I saw your post here, your nickname is very difficult for me to call it in English, so I will call you in Spanish. Your you sound something like Mauro. So the the best way to call you would be Mauro. So hola Mauro. Okay, as Cosmin is uh, on vacation now, I will take his place for some days. Uh, you as kid is Cosmin can read music. I'm not sure, but I think that he can. You want to to improve your rhythm and melodic rhythm skills. Okay. Uh, I personally can read music. I learned that uh, at the music school when I was around uh, 13. I started to study music, and my first guitar teacher taught me how to read music. It was really cool. It was really cool to to know the the language, to know the code, and to be able to communicate between musicians. So I think that it's important to read music. It's not a must. You can do music without reading it. But if you feel that music is very important in your life, it's cool to know the language, to know the code, uh, to know the vocabulary for that. We have a cool thread by Andrew Cockburn in our theory board where he explains all the concepts and all the calls you, you, he talks about the figures he, he talks about the meter uh, the time signature the key signature the notes the measures once you learn all the concepts how you can read music and how you can write music the next step is to practice it it's a language okay so as all the languages if you don't practice it if you don't practice reading and you don't practice writing it you forget it so you can take some music scores and read them maybe you can start with some beginner stuff maybe we can start you can start with some classical music even here at the side you will find lessons for classical guitar so you can take the the, the beginner ones and forget the tabs and just read the notes Okay, I'm practicing that way. There's also a cool book that I will share the link below the video that is called uh, Music Notation. And there are a lot of books for practicing. Another way of practice writing music is opening the Guitar Pro and transcribing some stuff. Maybe you can compose a melody and then use the music score, okay? For, again, you have to forget the tabs you take the music score and write all the music there. And the, the cool thing of Guitar Pro is that you can then play it and listen to it and be sure that what you wanted to write is what you wrote. There are also some other software like uh, Sibelius more focused on writing music while Guitar Pro is more for guitar and has a lot of tab stuff. Okay, that's all. Uh, I hope that it helped you and uh, feel free to contact me and send me a personal message if you have any other questions. Goodbye.